All right. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me here on Facebook and on Zoom. I'm so glad to be with you. I'm Keely McCary. I am part of Seeking Wellness Within, and I absolutely love educating people on wellness. Wellness for your bodies, wellness for your mind, wellness for your spirit as well. So I love we're a whole person. God created us to be a whole person, and I love how he designed us for all those to work together. Some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you this morning, this is a original um, presentation that I put together. Um, know this right off bat. I'm a researcher, okay? I'm not a medical professional. I'm not here to diagnose you. I'm not here to treat anything, to cure anything, none of those particular claims. Okay, that's not what I do, all right? But what I love to do is I share with you my research and I encourage you to take what you learned today and do the very same thing. Don't take my word for it. Go research it yourself. Go see if this is a good fit for you. If this is an answer that you've been praying for. Okay. So what I'm going to share with you today, I have entitled it Breathe Easy. So this particular, all this information are going to be tips for staying well and stress-free in this season of life, okay? We're about to enter the fall and winter season here in Texas, and so we've got concerns. We've got things that we're a little bit concerned about for our family, for our health, and we want to stay well, okay? We tend to think, oh man, we're getting into that season. This is that type of season where we catch all kinds of things. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person this year. That tends to be me every year, and so I'm going to give you a lot of tips for that. I know we are bombarded by media. We are bombarded by different communities that are encouraging us to do all different types of quick fix remedies and get well soon and all these different things, okay? A lot of those different things don't really work super well with our body, with our system. What if you're the person, what if you're like me and you want your personal preference is to try something natural first? You want something that was created by a maker, the maker, versus being manufactured in a laboratory. Okay, if that's you, that's what I'm giving you today. Okay, I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm gonna give you things that your great grandma used too. Okay, seriously, we're gonna go back, way back to what did they do? How did they stay well this time of year? Okay, so let's move right along. All right, so a little bit about our story. This is me and my family. Um, several years ago, it's been over a decade when I first started looking into wellness and trying to take care of my family. And like a bunch of folks, that story started with me um, having a problem, having an issue that I didn't like. I didn't like the quality of life I was living in. I didn't like feeling terrible every day. I didn't like having no energy. Um, I didn't like being depressed. And I knew there had to be a better way. I prayed for it. I was looking for options. I received a diagnosis right after my firstborn. Um, she was about six months old. I received a diagnosis and I did not like that. I didn't like um, the prognosis of how my life, that the doctors were telling me my life was going to go. Um, I didn't accept it. I was not living. It wasn't living. And um, I, look, I was looking for a better way. And so several friends actually pointed me towards um, Young Living Essential Oils. At that time, I was already using other essential oils. I'd already been using them in my home, cleaning the house with them and stuff like that. So I was kind of familiar with them. But something they suggested to me was the raindrop technique. It's kind of like a massage. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. Um, but in that massage technique, okay, in an hour's time, I felt a huge difference. My energy levels came up quite a bit, not tip top, but more than I had had in a year's time. And I thought, okay, there's something different here. There is something different about these oils versus what I've been using. I can feel the difference like in an hour. <laughs> and I was super hopeful. I said, let's do this. Let's see if we can't do this particular technique and use it therapeutically and, and approach it and see how I can make more lifestyle changes and see how it works with my body. What's gonna happen? And so, Oils were part of my puzzle piece. Oils were part of what helped me become super healthy, okay? To regain what I had lost. But I did make a lot of other lifestyle changes. I changed up how I ate. I changed the toxins that were in my home, in my foods. I ditched those things, you know? So I made a lot of different changes, but all those together, guys, 
when you put it all together in a decade's time, I have not had a relapse, not a one glory to God for that, because I'm, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that he led me this way. And that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm coming on right now and telling you about this, because I know there's people out there that were just like me who are praying for answers, who are not satisfied and we're looking for something better. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today. So if you're Facebook friends with me, you might have seen this posted on social media. I was actually posted on, on Instagram as well. Um, know that there, okay, there is no such thing as the flu season. We hear that. We hear that from all over the place. We hear it on commercials. We hear it from our neighbors. But the last time I checked, there's only four seasons, right? There's spring, summer, autumn, fall, okay? But why is it that a lot of times in particularly the fall and winter that we tend to get sick more often or we might stay sick more often. What happens? What is the difference between those times? Here's the difference. There is two decreases. There's a decrease in sun exposure and there's a decrease in water intake. Okay, so think about from this standpoint in the spring and summer, we're outside, we're enjoying the sunlight, we're working, we're playing outside, we're getting hot, causes us to actually want to drink water, okay? So we're getting plenty of sun, we're drinking more water. That's part of the reason spring and summer, we're not as sick often, okay? But what happens in fall and winter that things start to go up? What happens? There's an increased amount of sugar intake. There's also increased stress. Guys, there is no flu season, but there is a sugar season and we're coming right into it. Okay, every holiday from Halloween on to Easter, really, if you count like all the different things, candy is involved. Candy and sugary baked sweets and things like that. Okay, we're gonna talk about what sugar does to the body in just a little bit, but this has creates an amazing impact on our immune system. All these different four categories impact our resistance. Okay, it helps us to where we cannot resist um, and keep our immune system where it needs to be, okay? Illness and disease, guys, is technically the body's inability to adapt, all right? God created our bodies to be able to adapt in any environment, any situation we're in. It's constantly doing that. We don't realize it. It's one of those systems and functions that's happening unbeknownst to us, but it's in the background all the time. We're constantly adapting. And when we have these different factors going against us, it changes the way our immune system works. So we're gonna talk about three keys to a healthy immune system today. The first one we're gonna talk about is managing stress. You got it. Let's see what we can do to manage stress. Essential oils are an amazing way to manage stress. Okay, the sense of smell is directly connected to the limbic region of the brain. It's known as the seat of our emotions. So. This is why when you smell something, you might instantly relax. You also might be taken back in time. You might think back to a memory. It could be a good one, it could be a bad memory, but the sense of smell activates our emotions. So you can use oils in all different kinds of ways to help change and impact the stress levels of your body. You can, uh, they can be uplifting, depending on what you're smelling, strengthening, energizing. It can be very soothing. They can also be very, calming to your system. So seed to seal, let's talk about quality. Quality matters, guys. Um, I told you like with my story at the beginning that I was already using other essential oils, other brands of essential oils, and I noticed an immediate quality change when I started using Young Living. And there's a reason for that. Young Living has a promise to us that they call seed to seal. And it's a promise in how they are choosing that seed how they are nourishing it and cultivating it in the ground. Also how they harvest it, okay? How they harvest it. And then also how do they distill it? All those different stages of that growth and harvest of a plant can impact that final product that we get and how it impacts our health, okay? And how it works with our bodies. This is why not all oils are created equally. You might have an oil that was possibly when it was harvested, there was lots of other plants that came up with it. Maybe it wasn't the right 
type of plant that you needed. Maybe they treated it with something chemical or fertilizers or something that was toxic and that kind of got like concentrated in when they were steam distilling it for you. Yeah, that can happen. You don't want that to happen. That's why it's so important to know your oil, to know where it came from. Young Living owns our own farms. We also partner with other farms and all those partner farms have to fall underneath the same quality promise. We make sure of that. And I greatly appreciate that about Young Living, that they're taking that much effort. If for some reason oil does not meet our standards, we don't use it. We trash it. We get rid of it or something like that. Okay. Sometimes there's oils that maybe you're not exactly what our bodies needs, but they still have some good properties to them. They'll use those as um, basically an insect repellent on the other plants because, hey, they're so good. It's plant juice, right? <laughs> so sometimes they'll do that. It just depends. It depends on what goes on. But I love that they're committed to getting us the absolute best oils that we can get on the planet. So right here, this is, again, we're talking underneath the category of stress, managing stress. Sometimes when your body is very physically stressed out. And um, just so y'all know, I'm going to have to talk in certain terms and you're going to have to fill in the dots. If you've got some very specific questions for me, just ask. I'll be glad to answer those for you. But you're smart and you can figure this out. But sometimes when your bodies are super stressed, you really need to pick me up. You need to encourage that body system to start working the way it was designed to again. You can do this with a specific technique called the jump start method. So this is my graphic in particular, um, but the jump start method, from my understanding originated with Dr. Leanne Deerduff. Um, I've got several of her books, but she documented those in her books and I love this. So this is just a simple version of it. The step is you take a vitality oil, vitality oils, are some of the young living oils that are labeled for ingestion. They're safe to ingest. They're labeled as supplements. They're labeled as flavorings for foods and things like that. You can totally use them this way. So in this step, you would take one drop of the oil underneath your tongue or on the inside of your cheek every minute for 10 minutes. So that's 10 applications, right? Okay, yeah, in a minute. This next step, after you've gotten through all of that, you go to one drop every 10 minutes for an hour, okay? So that'd be six, six applications within that hour. And then the third step is you take one drop every waking hour for the rest of the day. So this is a lot of oil right at first, right? But this is a jump start. This is depending on what system you're needing to support, you're giving it a kick start. This is what's happening. So think of the vitality oils depending on what your need is. So if you're wanting to support your immune system, Thieves Vitality is an amazing one for that, okay? You could use Thieves Vitality. And let's say your endocrine, your hormones need a big boost for some reason. Endoflex Vitality is amazing for that. Your digestive system is quite stressed out right now. What am I gonna do for that? Digize. Digize Vitality is amazing. So you'd grab that oil. So again, it depends on what you're, what you're needing to support, what you're wanting to do. So you continue every hour with an application the following day if needed to help you feel your very best, okay? Um, for children, remember, keep in mind, I'm just gonna say it, these vitality is kind of spicy, kind of hot to be putting underneath the tongue. Um, for those advanced dollars that we've done this, we, some of us can handle this, we can do this. I'm one, I can, I've done it enough, it's, it's fine. But let's say maybe your kid's stressed out, they're physically stressed and they need support. I wouldn't do it in the mouth. I think that'd be a little too much. You can do the same, repetitions, the amount of time and frequency by applying the bottom of the feet. You can do a topical application. Rubbing on the bottom of the feet, the oil is going to get where it needs to go. So let's talk about, again, with the managing stress. We're going to talk a little bit about glutathione production. What is glutathione? It's a funny word, right? Glutathione is a naturally occurring compound that is in your cells. It's in every single cell of your body. It is your number one antioxidant. Okay. It is a, it helps detoxify your body. That's what it's there for. And it's absolutely amazing how it works in the body. If you start to look into glutathione production, remember, I have to be careful exactly how I, I say things. And I can sometimes just, I can just publicly on social media, I can give you the puzzle pieces, you have to put the puzzle pieces together or we have to talk privately one or the other, right? 
So here's the thing with glutathione, I want you to research it. I've actually got a link there on the screen. That is from, um, oh, what is it? Web, not WebMD, that's the wrong one. I'm saying PubMed. That is a PubMed resource. These are scholar reviewed, peer reviewed resources of, of, of lots of different doctorates, scientists that they have done the studies, okay? You can look up to see what does glutathione do in the body? What happens if I increase the glutathione production? How does that impact my immune system? So you can look at glutathione comma immune, glutathione comma, look up MSM, okay? MSM is a naturally occurring sulfur. Not to be confused with sulfa, that's a drug. That is a synthetic thing. Sulfa is naturally occurring compound. That's what's found in broccoli, okay? Our bodies need it. Um, so sulfa, sulfa is actually what helps your body to produce glutathione, mm -hmm. okay? We have a product, this, I love this product. This is a must have for me. I take sulfur zyme every single day. It comes in a powder form or in a capsule form. It's up to you which you'd like to take but it's an amazing form of MSM, a naturally occurring sulfur, a sulfur, pardon me. Um, the other option to include glutathione in production, and this tip came from endocrinologist, Dr. Dan Purser. Love him, love following his work. He's amazing, go follow him on social media. He gives all kinds of really good tips and education online. But this came from Dr. Dan Purser. He talks about orange vitality oil, okay? Well, actually you could you could use regular orange oil, it's up to you, um, but orange oil applied to the wrist, eight drops a day, significantly um, increase your body's ability to make glutathione. Remember, oils and supplements encourage your body to do what it's supposed to do, okay? So it increased the body's production of glutathione. Now that's amazing. For those of you who don't know, Orange is an extremely affordable oil. It's an amazing little powerhouse and what all it can do, but eight drops a day. And I like to actually put it over my liver. Liver actually helps make glutathione. So I actually put it over my liver and orange oil is also photosensitive. That means don't go out and go sunbathing after you put it on topically. It can increase the sun's rays. So put it where the sun don't shine. That's why I put it over my liver. <laughs> You could put it there or you're going to want to wait several hours before getting out in the sun for significant length of time. Okay, remember, we're talking about managing stress. Okay, how does, we talked already a little about how the limbic region, the emotions are connected with managing stress and how that the oils impact the limbic region. Okay, there's all different kinds of amazing tips and tools, techniques out there that can help you utilize essential oils and combine that with even modern psychology to help you release stress, to effectively help you release stress that's from the past. So think past troubled memories, okay, things that come back and you, you can't forget about, all right? Maybe it's present stress. Maybe it's something that's happening right now and there's not much you can do about it and except how you change yourself, how you're handling and managing that stress. But it also, sometimes there's stress and we're worrying about the future. I, I don't know. Maybe you're frozen. You're like, I don't know how to take a step forward because I'm so worried about the future. Okay. All those different kinds of stress, there's different techniques out there to help you with that. One of them is called aroma freedom technique. This is something that um, combines think psychology with aromatherapy and blends it together, makes an amazing impact for someone. I'm actually... A certified aromatherapy, um, sorry, certified aroma tech, aroma freedom technique practitioner. It was a mouthful. I'm certified. I can do it. <laughs> That's what it means. I've done this for many years. I think it's been about seven years now that I've been certified. One of my absolute favorite tools in my toolbox is AFT and how I can use that for me, for kids, for other people. I love helping people with that. So if I can serve people privately. I can do that for you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I can also do it online over the phone. So there's lots of ways we can do this. If you're interested in learning a little more about that or you kind of want to get a better idea of what happens with that, um, on Sunday nights, I offer a free group session on Zoom. I'll post that on Facebook later. So yeah, actually tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be offering um, an AFT, and you're welcome to come on and experience that with us, walk through it, or just watch. You can just check it out. 
Three keys to healthy immune system. Number two, movement and sleep. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got to move. There's lots of studies that talk about how purposeful movement, exercise can improve your sleep, can help you go to sleep and improve your sleep as well. Um, so yeah, the movement's got to be there, but also making sure you're getting some sleep. It's critical to your immune system. So let's talk about walking and massage for the movement portion. Walking is generally a great place for anybody to start. Most people, I mean, talk to your healthcare practitioner, be sure this, this is good for you, but pretty much everybody can walk. It's not so much about the pace. Um, it's more about movement, right guys? Okay. Um, set a timer and just increase. If you can only go walking steady for five minutes, go you, okay? Go you, just do it and gradually increase it as your body adapts and it changes and it's able to handle more, okay? Walking, this was really cool. I found this out. I kept thinking like, well, I know walking impacts the immune system. What's out there that tells me about that? There's tons of studies out there on how walking improves the immune system. Um, 20 minutes, one of the studies said that in 20 minutes, of walking at a brisk pace um, or cycling at a brisk pace, increase the body's production of white blood cells, okay? Your immune system, it increased it just 20 minutes. You could take that a whole other step. There was another study that talked about how if you increase the time, if you increase it to 30 to 45 minutes of brisk walking and you increase the frequency five days a week, if you're doing that five days a week, it improves your respiratory function improves your respiratory ability to have good health. Okay, so double whammy right there, guys. You've got immune function and respiratory function improved just by walking. There you go. Isn't that amazing? Plus, hello, you go outside and you've got the sun too. So you're getting all those extra benefits and that clean air and stuff. Yes, walking is a great place to start. All right, also for movement, massage. Oh yes, my favorite. Pretty much everybody I know is not going to turn down a massage. Massage is amazing. Yeah, Jenny's like, uh huh. And um, yes, that is an amazing way to increase movement in your body. Okay, um, especially let's say you're not physically for some reason you're not able to start that regular purposeful movement yet. Get a massage. I bet you can do it, right? Massages are known to increase white blood cell production through that circulation flow. It's moving the lymphatic system. It reduces stress. Stress again helps improve. Um, lower stress improves the immune system. So there's so many good things about a massage, guys. I mean, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm already excited. About it. I was like, I'm ready for my massage now. But the, here's the thing. I put a picture up here. My favorite massage. My favorite. And it's it's not technically massage. It just employs a few massage techniques. It's called the raindrop technique. That's what I was telling you about at the beginning. That was my first kind of like aha light bulb moment that when I first got that raindrop with the oils, oh my goodness, it was absolutely amazing, but it was helping move my body and move my sluggish lymph system to help get rid and ditch the toxins that had accumulated, let go of them so my body could have some more energy again, okay? It's amazing. If you are close to me in Northeast Texas, get with me. I'm going to see how I can get you a raindrop massage. If it's not me, I'll find you somebody else. All right. No joke. You message me. We'll make that happen. Oh, too far. Here we go. All right. Movement detox baths. What in the world, Q? Why is a bath on here for movement? All right. I'll tell you. So a detox bath is a little different than just a regular old bath. All right. This is going to be using your number one key ingredient for detox fast is Epsom salt. Epsom salt is a great source of magnesium. OK, when I say Epsom salt, I don't I'm not telling you to go to the store and get something that's fragranced with lavender or eucalyptus or whatever is on the outside. If it says scented, don't buy it, guys. Get the plain old Epsom salt. OK, remember, quality matters. I don't know what kind of oils that they used in that bath. You could be absorbing something you don't need to have in you. Okay, so take my word for it. Get plain old unscented. If you would like to scent your detox bath, use some essential oil yourself. Mix it in yourself. Okay, the way these work, depending on the temperature of your bath, 
depends on what you're going to receive from a detox bath, okay? So if you're gonna get into a hot bath, meaning like as hot as you can stand it with that Epsom salt, that is gonna detoxify your body. It's gonna help open up your pores. It's gonna help your body to gently pull out toxins, okay? If you're gonna get in a warm bath, you're going to actually absorb and nourish your body with those minerals that are found in that magnesium, okay? So again, it depends on what are you trying to achieve at that time. You're going to benefit from both, right? Okay. For me, I'm going to do a hot bath if I'm trying to detox. For my kid, if she's feeling pretty stressed, um, if she's physically stressed, emotionally stressed, we're going to do more. We're going to lean towards a warmer bath. Plus it's my kid, right? We're going to lean towards a warmer bath. It's still going to benefit her. She's going to be able to absorb and nourish those minerals. Okay. But it's absolutely amazing the immune system on the movement portion. This is moving the lymph. Lymphatic system and immune system go hand in hand. Okay. They work together. I want you to think of your um, immune system as the police. The immune system are the police. They're going around patrolling for the foreign invaders that shouldn't be here and they're wrecking havoc on your body. The lymphatic system is the prison bus system, okay? <laughs> the police done caught them going to jail, okay? And that's what the lymphatic system does is it takes the bad guys away and it locks them up in jail. But sometimes there's so many bad guys that get stuffed up and you need to encourage them to move on out, okay? That's what this is doing is moving the bad out from the lymphatic system. So here's a, a hopefully a good little detox bath recipe for you guys that you can um, you can screenshot this. I don't mind at all. This is one of my recipes that I've used before. I call it the ultimate detox bath, but you've got your main ingredients here of Epsom salt, baking soda, sea salt, and apple cider vinegar. All these different ingredients work in different ways to help detoxify the body, nourish the skin, gently pull things out. It's amazing. Do not underestimate the power of a detox bath. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. Um, this is what, this is one of those things of going back to what did our great grandparents do and our ancestors. Epsom salt foot soaks were a thing. You can go check that out. Go look at history and how people would use salt baths and stuff. They did this. Anytime that they were feeling super stressed or not really well, they would do a salt bath, usually a foot soak. You see people, you can find old pictures of people huddled with like a blanket over and they're sitting with their feet stuck in a a bath bowl, of, uh, like a, a water bowl, and their feet are stuck in that sitting by a fireplace. That's a salt bath, guys. That's what they were doing, okay? For, if for some reason, remember, add in your own oils. Good oil options for a detox bath are going to be lavender, stress away, citrus fresh, purification, cypress. Those are all amazing. Start low, go slow with the amount of drops. You figure out how much. I just start shaking it in at this point. The key thing that you need to know about detox baths when you're doing mixing your salts, you mix the oil into the salt dry first, and then you disperse into the water. Okay, that's how you do it. Sit for like 20 minutes to 45 until the water gets cold. Whatever you can handle, that's what you go for. There is so much information on just the lymphatic system and how it works to support the immune system, more than I really want to cover right now with you guys. But if you'd like some more information on that, more information about dry brushing, stuff like that. I want you to check out the Lymph Challenge 2022. It's a Facebook community or group. Um, it's amazing. It's about to start up in October. October 1st is when it starts. It goes for 14 days. They're going to actually prep you and help you understand what to do. Super gentle, very easy ways to start detoxifying your body. Anybody can do this. You're going to start feeling amazing after this. Okay, so check that out. If you would like an invite to that group, just message me. I will get you in. All right, so now we're moving to the sleep portion. We talked movement. Let's talk sleep. Adequate sleep. Yeah, you need it. You need it. A lot of times the problem for us in modern day society is that we're robbing ourselves from it. And guess who has been guilty of that? I am not going to tell you how late I stayed up last night in preparation for this class. Um, I knew good and well what I was doing, but <laughs> here I am, right? <laughs> I will, however, get some adequate sleep today. I promise you that. Okay, but here's the thing with the adequate sleep. What some of the tips that you can do right away is reduce blue light. 
ideally two to three hours before bed. Blue light is coming from your screens, your laptop, your cell phone, your TV, any of those things. So turn off the screen, turn off the electronics before you go to bed. Grab a book if you need to. If you're not ready for sleep, read, do something like that, okay? That's going to help your body produce melatonin. Melatonin is that key hormone that your body naturally makes that signals your brain, hey, it's time to go to sleep. We don't want to rob from it, okay? And so all these different things, steps one through four, increase melatonin production naturally in your body. Mm-hmm. Told you I was going to give you quick tips, things you could employ today or tonight, right? What else can you do to increase your melatonin? Eat right. <laughs> eat well, make better choices, eat earlier too. If you can eat earlier in the evening is better, okay? What else can you do? Relax. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to hear people say, relax, right? <laughs> Use your essential oils, help you to relax. Put on your diffuser. That's my favorite nighttime routine. I've got my diffuser going with calming oils. Lavender's always in there. Something else sometimes is in there too, but it's like I've got to have that now, okay? Um, you can also roll them on, um, roll on essential oils, get in that detox bath. That's a good habit you can get into. All of that's going to increase your melatonin. Four, sunshine every day. We already talked about that, but here's the thing. With sunshine every day to increase your melatonin, if you can get out in the morning and you can expose yourself to sunlight 30 minutes in the morning, it's like you reset your whole sleep cycle. Your body says, oh, I know what time of day it is. It's time to decrease my melatonin. I'll, I'll ramp that back up tonight for you when you're about ready to go to bed. Your body's so smart. It can do all those things. We just got to treat it right, okay? So if, and I'm just going to say, because I know somebody's going to tell me I can't go outside because of X, Y, Z. Okay, that's fine. Find an east-facing window and sit by that window and let the morning light come on you. Drink your cup of coffee. Read a book. Whatever your morning routine is, and enjoy that time for 30 minutes. It's going to help you so much. So what are some melatonin supplements that you could take if you're like, I still need a little extra boost? Melatonin actually increases your immune system. Ah, imagine that. Yeah, that's why I included it, right? So sleep essence. Sleep essence is an amazing supplement that includes, I believe I wrote it down. Sorry, it's not on my notes right now, but it's round. It's like a one point something milligram of essential oil. It's I'm not an essential oil, of melatonin. It's not a ton, but it also includes essential oils in there like valerian and lavender and rue and different things like that. So it's got a lot of things in there to help you out with that sleep. Amipro, however, is a little bit higher in melatonin. It's like 4.2 milligrams. Uh, so Amipro is awesome for, it is a chewable. It's a chewable supplement. The sleep essence is a capsule, okay? So what I've done in the past is I've actually um, even given this to my kids when they were super stressed or having trouble sleeping, um, but I would give them like a quarter of a tablet. Now that was my choice. Know that the melatonin in both of these is not habit forming. It's very safe. Um, we don't actually use it all the time. I use it when I know I'm going to need an extra boost, or again, I'm physically stressed, something like that's going on. Another option is you could use Rudavala. It's a roll-on essential oil blend. It basically has the same oils that's in sleep essence, okay? So you've got that option. For little ones, there's a great option called Sleepy Eyes. It's already pre-diluted for kiddos, um, and you could even drop that one in the diffuser if you'd like to. So you've got some options to help your body naturally increase melatonin. All right, number three, almost done, guys. Number three, wrapping this up. Healthy immune system is proper nutrition. Okay, so you knew I was going to say that. You knew I was going to tell you you got to eat right. <laughs> you can't, you can't do anything different. I mean, not different. Let me say this right. We can do all the right things. We can move right. We can take supplements. We can like get the toxins out of our house and everything. And then we can still eat junk. Okay. And that's not going to do it. It's not the whole picture. So you knew I was going to say that it's key to increasing your immune system. I'm going to give you some tips of where do I start some real basics on what to do here. Water. First step is water. If you're not hydrated, your immune system cannot work properly period. Okay. 
most of us are dehydrated. If you are feeling thirsty, you're already at the point of dehydration. Seriously, you need to be drinking more. All those recommendations you see out there of like eight cups per uh, of eight ounces a day, that's like for a 120 pound person, okay? So if you're not, if that weight doesn't equal you, you're gonna need to do a little bit of math. You take your weight and you divide by two and that's the approximate amount of ounces you need of water a day, okay? And that's how much pure water you need per day. That's not counting your coffee or your tea or your soda, okay? Don't count that in. And here I am, I'm gonna get a sip just because, right? <laughs> Here's the thing, I get it. I hear a lot of people say, well, I know I should drink water, but the thing is, is I don't like the taste of it. There is no taste. I don't like it. I'm just not encouraged to drink a lot of it. I get that. That's okay. Try a drop of vitality oil in there. Some peppermint, some citrus fresh, some lemon. I love grapefruit. Another option that my whole family loves is the vitality drops. Young Living Vitality Drops, I've got them pictured right there. They, this, these two different flavors right here have electrolytes in them. Electrolytes help your body to stay hydrated. So this is another added boost, okay? They taste delicious. Grapefruit, bergamot, and lavender lemonade. Here I'm getting a drink. I need to do, excuse me. So yeah, water is the first step. Oh, low sugar diet. Mm-hmm. This is the absolute key for proper immune system function. Why do I say that? <clears throat> I get it. Cutting sugar is hard. I get it. It is. I have effectively done it many times. There's been times that it's creeped back in. Um, earlier this year, it did. I'm now on about month two of very, very low sugar. And I'm feeling all the better for it. Like, I don't even hurt anymore at all. Sugar's pretty wild what it can do for you. But here's the reason I put it in here. Your immune system is suppressed by 50% for five hours after you eat a high sugar meal. What? You are paralyzing your immune system if you're eating a ton of sugar. That's what's happening, okay? You're stopping it from working just by eating sugar. So keep that in mind. So there's ways to counter that. The best way is just, just don't eat as much, okay? Just don't eat a whole lot. And remember I said there's no flu season, but there is a sugar season. We're coming into that. Be mindful of that. Make some healthy choices. If you're gonna get sugar, get it from a natural food source that contains it, like your berries, apples, things like that, your fruits, okay? There's options. Hi. But, the, but the other option um, that you can do is, um, the other option that you can do is you can, um, sorry, I just, I just did mute real quick. But here's the thing, with some of your options, what are, what are good options I can do for low sugar? Um, Yacon. Yacon is an amazing sugar. It's a zero glycemic index. It's a great sweetener for baking. Think of it as replacing like maple sugar or, um, I'm sorry, maple syrup or coconut sugar or something like that. Those are still actually some good options as well. But if you're really looking for like zero, Yacon's amazing. It also boosts your gut health, okay? Which gut health equals immune system health. Uh-huh, tying it all together. Also another good option that I really like is stevia. Stevia is just a natural herb that is naturally sweet. It's super sweet. Be careful on how you eat that, okay? And there's some really good sources of it out there. And there's some sources that are just like, really poor. Um, one of the sources I like is from Young Loving. It's called Sleek Essence. It's a it's some drops that have stevia and a few essential oils in it. It's a really good option if you're like a sweet tree, sweet tea drinker like me. This is a good one. It's really refreshing. It's good for either hot or um, cold beverages. Next up, vitamin C. Uh, no brainer here. We've heard this from lots of people, right? Okay, vitamin C is a powerhouse of antioxidant. Um, this is what is, it's in boosting your immune system's production of white blood cells. That's what it does, okay? Um, lots of ways it works, but you need a lot of it. If you, in, if you increase the amount of it, it's going to just strengthen your immune system all the more. So 
I'm not going to tell you to go out and get a vitamin C product that might be found in your, your typical um, pharmacies or something. The reason I say that is because a lot of those are sugar laden. Okay. We just talked about what sugar does to the immune system. It paralyzes it. That's like countering what its whole point is doing. Okay. So be very mindful and a good label reader right there. Don't, don't get the sugar laden vitamin C. It makes no sense. So my family chooses to use, we love super C. We use super C chewables and we also use the tablets. They have different amounts of uh, vitamin C in them. Those would be a real, that's what we use to get extra vitamin C in our diet. Another thing is look for it in your food. Okay. Look for it in your food sources. Um, berries, broccoli. Um, mm, it just left me peppers, bell peppers. Did you know that bell peppers are super high in vitamin C? We choose to have all those things in our diet. <clears throat> Excuse me. We choose to make sure that our body is assimilating nutrients from real food. Okay. One of the real foods we love to eat is also, well, drink is an inkshire red. Guys, uh, that's a whole class on itself. It's amazing what, what Ningxia can do. Ningxia was recently studied. I mean, I've been taking it for years and knew personally what it did for my family and how much it helped. I think of Ningxia as one of those things that I can make all those good changes in my body of eating right and doing all the things, but sometimes you just don't get enough in, right? Ningxia fills in those gaps nutrient wise. It's amazing what it can do within protein and the vitamins and the minerals, all those things. So I make sure I get Nisha Red in me every day. My family gets it too. It doesn't have to be much like an ounce, like an ounce to two ounces is really all you need to really give your body what it, it needs. Um, one of the things with the most recent studies of Nisha, just to tell you, get you an idea, it was studied recently and I can send you the links if you want them, but it was studied for its impact on, on improving respiratory health. Mm-hmm immune system function, sleep it would help you to go to sleep, but also to stay asleep better. It also increased people's energy by like 35%. And then it also helped your body's ability to adapt. And I, I'm physical limitations. That's what it said. Helped with physical limitations by 36%. So look at what all it did. It fit all those things we've already kind of talked about here. All right. And talking about staying well. <laughs> this is when I talk about it all the time to people because it's absolutely amazing. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, a lot of times we think of it as being um, for healthy bones and muscles, but guys, it's amazing what vitamin D can do for the immune system. Totally, it boosts the immune system. It helps improve respiratory health. It also supports moon, mood regulation, supports your mood. <laughs> and hormone regulation. Okay. Look at that. Vitamin D is actually technically a hormone. Um, a lot of these pictures that you're seeing, I've also got some food groups shown. These are all foods that are high in that component, whatever that I was, I was sharing with you. So egg yolks in particular, um, salmon, uh, tuna is also high in it, but also milk. Be careful about milk guys. Um, depending on how your milk has been processed, it has lost a lot of the naturally occurring nu nutrients, okay? Raw milk's amazing, but don't take my word for it. Go look into it. Go do some research at the westonpricefoundation.com. It might be .org, Weston Price Foundation. Amazing studies on raw milk. That's what my family prefers, okay? But check that out. Uh, conventional milk has lost the vitamin D and they had to add it back in. It's enhanced, okay? So keep that in mind. There we go. Minerals. All right. Again, that's, this one's like a whole other class. I'm just giving you all little snippets right here. This right here, Dr. Paul, Linus Pauling, I um, believe is a Nobel Prize winner. He was quoted as saying, you can trace every sickness, every disease, every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Okay. And you see how important minerals are to your immune system function, to your overall health. It's amazing. It's your body really cannot function without minerals. It can't, it can't even really communicate to itself. Okay. Not well, it's part of it. Some of my favorite ones, I actually like to take these two supplements. I eat all those foods too, but I like to take these supplements. I take mineral essence usually in the morning 
minerals equal electrolytes. So think energy. So I use the mineral essence in the morning to get me going or anytime I need a pick me up. Mega Cal, I like to take at night. It's higher in magnesium and it helps me wind down. It even helps my thoughts to like slow down because sometimes I'm, I'm a go-getter and I just need to slow down even mentally. And that magnesium has a really nice calming effect. So I, I do both. Bone broth. This is a food. This is going back to what great grandma, what our ancestors drank, what they used. It was their remedies for whenever they were stressed and not doing good. They used bone broth. This was like a staple in their kitchens. Okay. Super rich in nutrients. It helps to naturally replenish the minerals in your body, your amino acids. It soothes the gut. Remember gut health equals immune system health. Um, it's the seat of our immune system. Okay. So bone broth is awesome. It's not hard to make. Yes, you can buy it off the shelf and that's good. It's better than nothing, but at the same time, you can make it guys. It's so easy to make. So here's my recipe for get well soup. You're free, free to take a, a screenshot, jot it down, pause the recording. If you want, love this soup. This is from Emerald Lagasse's get well soup is what he called it. Um, it also uses his emeralds essence, um, Creole seasoning. You could totally Google that and make it yourself too. There's lots of, um, lots of different, um, seasonings in there. I'll, I also like to add in some vitality essential oils, basil, bay laurel, or tarragon are really awesome in a chicken soup. So there is, there's actually science to back up that chicken soup is actually good for your immune system. Mm -hmm. But one of the reasons it's so good for your immune system is if you're going to be using that bone broth. Uh-huh. There's your key. So if you can cook a, a whole chicken and cook it, I like to do it in my Instapot. I'll cook a whole chicken and then I will take the bones, put them back in to the Instapot and go for the maximum amount of time on it. Add in some more water, get all the good minerals from the bones. That's what constitutes a bone broth. It's not hard, guys. Um, I have some saved in my freezer pretty much all the time because this is what I like to even keep get well soup in my freezer. So again, if any of us are not feeling really well, I've got it ready to go. So I hope you enjoy that recipe. Feel free to tweak it however you want. We add in lots of different veggies at different times too. All right, winding down. So here's what I wanna share with you. I've shared with you a lot of different supplements and different tools in my toolbox of how to keep our immune system strong, what I'm doing with our family, what keeps us well. And it has guys for 10 years. It's pretty amazing how well we've done and how well our bodies have been able to adapt. Even if we did fall below the wellness line, we were able to support our bodies um, to get it back up to where it needed to be using lots of different nourishing things and lots of different lifestyle changes. So I've shared a lot of those with you, but something I want to show you is that Young Living this month, they're giving these away. Everything you see on the screen, those five different supplements and um, essential oils right there, those are given away this month and every single one of them is amazing for your immune health. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? I loved that. <laughs> So excited when I saw it. Every single one of those are staples in my house. No joke. So you can see kind of what, and I'll move this screen so you guys can kind of see it a little bit better. But um, every single one of those is used. So the RC, the Thieves, the Breathe Again, the Sniffle Ease, and the Inner Defense. You can get it. Feel free to take a screenshot. You can get an idea of how would I use those? What would I do with those? But right there, it just shows you depending on what your order is that is how they give you the, the gift. So depending on if you're wanting to just do like a 190 PV order, that's gonna give you a free bottle of RC. A free bottle of RC to, to really help with your breathing, put in your diffuser, make the smell is so good, so fresh, but it's perfect when you're super stressed out. But the overall value of all of those, if you got every single one of them is 160 to 75 of free stuff. They're a very generous company, guys. And they do this every single month. They give us freebies, giveaway. I call them the freebies and the giveaways, but they do this every single month. And this is how I keep a stocked wellness cabinet. This is how I do it, is I'm getting the things we already use. And then I get these to use in the right season at the right time. I love it. So here's the thing I want to show you. Um, thank you for being on today. Um, if you want to choose a bundle, 
you could totally start with a bundle and this gives you a lot of the options that are the most used things in a diffuser. You get to pick whatever one you want, which is awesome. Um, you can totally start with that. It's a great way. Or you can customize. You can just say, hey, I saw that Ning shot. I saw that sulfur design. I kind of want to start there. I want to do like the glutathione thing. Let's do that. Let's start there. You can do whatever you want. But I want you to get your wellness journey off to the very best start. I want to help you do that. So you can message me. I'll give you your shopping link. You can get going. Or please message the friend that invited you to this class. You're watching it now. If somebody invited you, honor that and get back with them and, and see if you can help them out as well. Last thing, this is part of our name right here. This is where we got an inspiration. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Matthew 7, verse 7. That promise was huge to me at the very beginning. Um, when I was seeking, I was seeking wellness in every area of my life. I was looking for options. What could I do? And God is good. <laughs> God is good. And if you look for it, if you look for it and you're doing your best, right? He's going to help you. He's going to help you find provisions. Okay. And that's, that's my motto. That's my motto on business is helping God's people find God's provisions. That is what I'm about. And I want to help them find that with whether it be physically or emotionally or whether they need some help spiritually. Guys, I am here. I am down for a good Bible study. Okay. I am. I'm down to talk too. So it's important. It's important to see all those different things, to ask for it, to seek it, and then knock, look for it, ask for it. It'll come. Okay. And that's my prayer for you. Thank you so much for being here, for listening to me. I hope it blessed you in some fashion. I hope you can take something away from day and go and do better. You've got information. You can do better. You can take care of yourself, take care of your family. That's what my, my hope is for you. So thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and stop the Facebook Live. For those of you who want to hop on Zoom with us, I'm going to be on Zoom. We've got several friends on Zoom and I can answer questions and be here and chit chat with everybody. So yes. All right. Thank y'all for being here and I'll see you later.